Hello, my name is Veer Animus of VA Games, and I'll be talking about a maneuver known as Circle Strafing in this entry of my Advanced Helicopter Tactics series. Circle Strafing is a technique whereby the helicopter circles a target in such a way that the nose of the helicopter is always trained upon the target. Circle Strafing is used to maintain a degree of mobility while attacking stationary or relatively slow moving targets. So strap yourselves in and let's get started. The maneuver itself is just a simple combination of three basic movements. The pilot must adjust the balance of these three movements dynamically in order to quite literally bend the flight path to his will. I'll briefly go over each of these movements individually, and then show you what it looks like when you combine all three of them properly. Rotation about the x-axis is known as roll. You can roll the helicopter to the left and right to fly sideways while maintaining the helicopter's heading. Both the roll indicator and the artificial horizon on the heads-up display will measure the helicopter's roll. Rotation about the y-axis is known as pitch. Pitch is measured in degrees relative to the horizon and is given by the aforementioned artificial horizon, which is also known as the attitude indicator. To oversimplify the pitch mechanic, pitch the nose down to fly forward and pitch the nose up to fly backwards. Steep pitch angles will cause the helicopter to descend quickly, while shallow pitch will cause the helicopter to ascend. Rotation about the z-axis is known as yaw. Yaw is essentially the helicopter's heading, which is given by the heading indicator or the directional gyro, which is essentially just a compass. Circle strafing combines these three movements to fly the helicopter in circles about a fixed target. The description of the actual movements can be highly technical and mathematical, but I'll do my best to keep this as approachable as possible. Begin by rolling in the direction of rotation about the target, right for counterclockwise and left for clockwise. I am right-handed and strongly favor counterclockwise. While the helicopter is rolled, pitch down to curve the flight path of the helicopter into an arc. Adjust the yaw and the roll to maintain the desired altitude, and do your best to keep the nose of the helicopter oriented toward the target. Remember that you can use this maneuver to line up a shot for yourself as the pilot, but more importantly to give your co-pilot a consistent vantage point on the target. Be advised that flying in perfect circles is highly predictable, which ultimately makes the helicopter an easy target for unguided warheads like RPGs and tank shells. Learn to twist and contort your circles by wildly varying the altitude, which changes the angle of attack, and the radius, which is the distance to the target. These perturbations will make it more difficult for the enemies to train their unguided weaponry on you. Circle strafing is not recommended for use in hostile airspace and not for extended periods of time for iteration. If you're strafing a target in airspace that becomes hostile, break away immediately. You can then decide whether or not to dispatch the threat in order to return to the original target, return to the original target with a different strafing maneuver, or change targets altogether. It may take newer pilots some time to get used to juggling the three axes of translation. Feel free to watch parts of this video several times in order to familiarize yourself with this technique. If you found this video helpful, please rate it or leave a comment below. Thank you for your time, and as always, thanks for watching.